Hi, this is Michelle in the Children's Department at the Ida Public Library. This week's Kids Nonfiction Friday features books about our national parks and monuments. Our first nonfiction book is a picture book narrative titled The Camping Trip That Changed America, Theodore Roosevelt, John Muir, and Our National Parks, written by Barb Rosenstock and illustrated by Mordecai Gerstein. This book is the true story of a very important meeting that took place over 100 years ago between two very important people, President Theodore Roosevelt and environmentalist John Muir. Both men have a varied history, but this book focuses on one particular event. John Muir was a quirky old man who grew up in Wisconsin, walked across the United States, lived alone in the woods, and wrote books. He was a fierce advocate for the protection of wild lands and was worried the forests were going to disappear. Theodore Roosevelt was a popular president of the United States at the time this story takes place. He liked to be outdoors. He read some of the writings of John Muir and wanted to help. He asked John Muir to take him on a camping trip so they could talk. President Roosevelt traveled to what is now Yosemite National Park in California. He and John Muir traveled together in the wilderness for a few days. They posed for some photographs but also just talked and talked. After this camping trip, President Roosevelt began protecting lands and places by declaring them national monuments, beginning with places like the Grand Canyon. This eventually, with the help of many other people, became our national park system. Even if you've never visited a national park, you may have heard of them. These are places that are protected by our government for the land or because something important happened there. The Grand Canyon is one of America's most famous parks. The Ida Public Library has many books about John Muir and Theodore Roosevelt, too. Just look them up in our catalog or ask for help in the library. We also have many, many kids' books about the national parks and national monuments. This is just a sampling. The Wonders of America series is a great ready-to-read series for beginning readers. There are several books in the series. This one is on Yellowstone National Park. And this one is about the Appalachian Trail, a national scenic trail. The text is short and easier than other books about our national parks, but there's still a lot you can learn from them. Our next nonfiction book, When the Wolves Returned, Restoring Nature's Balance in Yellowstone, written by Dorothy Henshaw Payton, with photographs by Dan and Cassie Hartman. Uh, Hartman. This beautiful book can be enjoyed by the photos alone, but the story is fascinating as well. This book tells about how the original protectors of Yellowstone National Park did not understand how all the animals and plants were an important part of the ecosystem, and soon all the predator animals like wolves were gone. The book tells about why the wolves are important to the park and what was happening when they were not there, and what happened when the wolves were brought back into the park. Our last book to talk about today is not obviously a National Parks book. George Washington Carver, An Innovative Life by Elizabeth McLeod, is a longer informational book about an American scientist. I chose this book because America's national park system also includes many, many national monuments. These are places of importance in American history, not because the landscape is special, but because what happened there is important. The childhood home of George Washington Carver is preserved as a national monument. As you can see, this longer book tells us about his childhood, his education, and his science and innovations. There are many great photos and illustrations, including a photograph of his painting teacher in Iowa. This book is filled with all kinds of information. With his important achievements, like the Jessup Wagon or Movable School, he took on the road with another important African-American, Booker T. Washington. That's all for Nonfiction Friday this week. Find these books at the Ida Public Library. Thank you.